welcome back. Hope you're all well and you've had a coffee fueled week. Before we get today's video started, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone for the support on YouTube and Instagram. Uh, it means a lot for me being able to share my, my coffee journey with you guys. Secondly, you're probably wondering why the coffee station's moved. Uh, we moved it just closer to the window. There's a bit more space, um, which meant that I could put a really nice solid uh, wooden countertop on top, and that gives me a little bit more space to make coffee and hopefully uh, some, some more brew gadget space. Yeah, that, that, that would be very nice, so watch this space. Let me know what you think of my new setup in the comment section below. So with all that explained, let's crack on with the video. Uh, I've been super excited to share this one with you guys. We took a trip to Cardiff and we scoped out Corner Coffee. We've heard great things about them and checked them out on Instagram. Um, this is not sponsored at all. Um, this is just completely off our own backs. Uh, we went in and chatted to them and they're more than happy for us to do this video. So um, I think it's very important at this time to be supporting your independent coffee shops. Um, you know, those that do uh, really good coffee and that you love, just keep supporting them, keep them going. Um, the link for Corner Coffee will be in the description box below for you. So please go check them out, give them a follow. If you're in the area at all, uh, go and try some of their coffee because it's seriously good. <laughs> uh, as we entered uh, this place, we got such a nice vibe. The decor is really nice. They've got some cute little plants. Um, there's, it's nice and light and airy, uh, which is kind of like, it makes it a nice chilled out atmosphere. Um, plus I have a big love for their brew time neon sign. I need that in my life. They've definitely got the balance right for an inviting coffee shop. Uh, it also inspires some creativity and kind of adventure. They've got some cute little wall murals and some awesome uh, custom printed t-shirts that you can purchase if you wish. They've got really good selection of retail products for sale, a nice selection of beans. So the coffee that we had was the house coffee. It was a washed Colombian uh, from Triple Co Roast in Bristol. It was quite a nice chocolatey uh, red fruit, so it went really well with uh, milk. So they've got a range of different coffees from different roasters all over the country. Um, they've got their menu boards just behind their coffee machine so you can see and pick and choose what you want to get. So definitely next time we'll be trying out a few new ones, I think. The roasters that they were using mainly were Kiss the Hippo, The Missing Bean, and Crank House, and then obviously Triple Co. Uh, I'll link all of those guys down below in the description box for you as well. So they also had an amazing display of donuts, which if we weren't so full after our breakfast bap that we got, which was amazing, uh, then we definitely would have tried some of their donuts for sure next time. The staff were super friendly and very enthusiastic about coffee. Uh, it's really nice when you walk into a place and you can see that the staff are happy, they're enjoying what they're doing, they would love in every minute of it and super keen to talk to us about coffee and what we were doing. What, what, what our plans were for the rest of the day as well. So really nice. Uh, so we went and sort of sat out in their outside seating area. Um, we had a bacon and halloumi bap with like a tomato relish in, which was just like the perfect fuel for the rest of the day. Uh, we didn't really need to eat much <laughs> for the rest of the day, put it that way. Um, so yeah, overall a really nice vibe from these guys. Really great coffee. Definitely check them out if you're in the area. I'd like to say a huge thank you to Corner Coffee for their hospitality and amazing coffee, of course. Um, super keen to pay them another visit sometime soon when we can. Um, so please check out their Instagram that's linked down below. And please feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more coffee content. Uh, next time is going to be a review of some new brewing tools that I've purchased. 
And on that note, I've talked so much about coffee, I really need one myself. <laughs> uh, coffee is definitely calling, so I will see you guys next time. subscribe <laughs> don't forget to subscribe <laughs>